I'd like to uh, thank everyone for being here today. Obviously, from the turnout, uh, this pretty significant event. I think it speaks to the importance of baseball at Oklahoma State University. It speaks to the tradition, uh, a run of championships uh, unprecedented in many sports. Uh, we got a lot of pride in baseball at Oklahoma State University. So we appreciate everybody being here sig signifying that. And it also brings up, uh, brings up the point of how important it is to try to get this hire right. Um, I reached out to all the family, our Oklahoma State family, everyone that had an interest in baseball, everyone that played baseball here, anyone that coached baseball here. I uh, talked to some really big names in the sport. I got a lot of great advice, uh, but I can tell you that Josh Holliday's name just kept popping up on the radar. and. Uh, I had heard so many nice things about him. In fact, I never heard anything bad about Josh. You can't be that good. <laughs> I especially want to thank Tim Corbin, uh, the head coach at Vanderbilt. When I called him about Josh and asked him my uh, permission to speak to him, and then I asked for uh, his analysis of Josh Holliday and what he stood for and what he was all about, you know, at the end of that conversation, it probably he talked, Mr. Corbin talked probably 20, 30 minutes. And I thought to myself, if every person uh, had an opportunity to work for someone that they respected, they would say those kind of things about them, they've had a good life. Um, and I don't know Tim Corbin, I've never met him, but I get a sense from that conversation, he's a pretty special coach. And uh, I'm going to be a big fan of Vanderbilt going forward. I, I expect them to do big things in the world of college baseball. But uh, anyway, um, I want to pay homage to all the, the great advice that I got, all the people that helped me in this. This was a team effort. And I feel really at peace with uh, the decision that we've made here. I think this is a bright future for Cowboy baseball. We've got a young man here who's 35 years of age. I got the job as golf coach here when I was 23. And I coached for 32 years, uh, 32 years. I'd only be 67, you know, and Social Security <laughs> keeps moving up. Uh, you won't even be close to retirement age by then. So I hope we have a great run here and we have a lot of smiling faces. And, uh, and you know, we'd like to win some games. But more importantly, we're all about how we go about business here. Uh, we want to play by the rules. We want to put a product out on the field we can be proud of. We want to have a team out there that's disciplined, that, uh, goes to class, makes grades, graduates, and does all the things that we stand for here. And I'm convinced that Josh Holliday is the guy to get that job done. And I think if he takes care of that and uh, treats his players the right way, I love his family. I love uh, what I see in that family. And if he treats that uh, baseball team like it's his family, I think uh, we're going to do some great things. So it's my pleasure now to introduce Josh Holliday, uh, the next baseball coach at Oklahoma State University. Josh. There you go. Looks good. Might Number still nine. Play? Yeah, <laughs> might fit. Wow. Well, uh, this has been a uh, unbelievable set of circumstances for the past five days. You know, um, to have your season end on a Monday and and lose a, a heartbreaking game and say goodbye to your team and then uh, try to start to look ahead at what, what was ahead and, and what lied ahead as a, as a coach, and then to, to get a phone call and receive an opportunity to come back to Stillwater and meet with Coach Holder and talk about this program, um, to go across the community and see places that I hadn't had a chance to see in a long time, to, to walk through doors and see friends, uh, people that you grew up with, people that uh, helped raise you, people that uh, used to come watch you play when you were 10, 12, 15, 17, 21 years old as a it's an unbelievable set of uh, occurrences and um, emotional, uh, especially when you're talking about a place that means a lot to you. Um, having gone through that and, and just expecting and just really being thankful for a chance to talk about this, I had no idea what to expect and, and certainly didn't expect to. Uh, I packed two sets of clothes. I thought I'd be here for a day and be back on my way. but. Uh, as times uh, have gone on and as a chance to talk to Coach Holder, uh, the folks here at the university that care about the program and the school and the leadership of the school and really understand their vision for the program and share with them my vision 
uh, and find a common ground and find an energy and a passion to work together to give our players and our school and our fans something that everyone is proud of is really something that uh, uh, keeps you up at night. To lay there last night and think about what this could be if this opportunity were to present itself is uh, uh, it's, it's fascinating. It's, uh, I believe it's what I was born to do. You know, not, not many times do you get to reach your goals, uh, your dreams. Well, I grew up here. And my first goal was to play here. I got to do that, and I was lucky. My second goal was to coach here, and I got to do that. And when we left, my goal was to come back here. And so, in a lot of ways, um, I'm pretty lucky. And um, my emotional, certainly, because this is special. This is an honor. To stand here is, is an honor. There's a, a history that goes back so many years, one in which people in this room, people on the outside contributed to. And to welcome back and recognize and embrace our history, our people, uh, our fans, our players, our coaches, both past, current, and really important in the future, so that everyone associated with this can be proud of who we are, to put a team together that represents the, the style of play, the characteristics that our school stands for, uh, and to sell people on what Oklahoma State is all about is something that comes from the heart. And it's something that um, I was born to do. Um, obviously, I stand before you amazingly humbled because I recognize being a head coach is an honor. It's a privilege. And it's very unique to be given this chance. And uh, I thank Coach Holder uh, for the time he spent talking to me sharing his ideas and his visions about athletics, about coaching, uh, about kids, uh, and about Oklahoma State. That's been a real honor to gain that insight. Uh, I want to thank our president uh, for giving me an opportunity to be a, a leader at this university and to take on a tremendous uh, role in influencing people's lives. And obviously, uh, the people on the Board of Regents for spending the time to get to know me and, and uh, supporting and backing the ideas that we share. Um, first order of business is to connect with our players. Our current players are of unbelievable amount of importance to me. Anytime young people go through a change, it's, it's unsettling. And uh, these guys are cowboys. They're already here. They chose to be here because of our school and our program. Connecting with those young men and, and uh, getting to know them and appreciating them, their families, pulling them together, starting to form a team, Starting to reach out to the others and bringing everyone on the same page will be the first thing that I do because those kids deserve that and they need that. We'll then work to put together what I believe will be a staff that possesses a, an energy and passion for kids in a university that believe in the same things that, that we do. That's, that's development, both personally, academically, and athletically. And when you get those types of people together and you work together on a daily basis, it's scary what can happen because you find that energy and positive thoughts and a united plan can create a lot of special things. And um, we're going to do that, and we're going to do it at a rate that's, uh, that's uh, respectful to everyone involved, that's uh, considerate of everyone that has a, uh, a, uh, a level of pride and investment in this school and this program. Um, our history and, and our players, coaches, uh, is really something that sets us apart. And I embrace all of the, the former players. Uh, I appreciate every single one of them many of which were my heroes, my, my role models. Many became my friends, and, and then later several became my teammates. So uh, to reach out to those people and bring them on board to support our players and our program is what I hope we'll all join forces to do. And um, other than that, I'm, I'm just very, very thankful and honored to be here. My first mistake uh, is my failure to introduce my wife. <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, to thank my wife, Jenny, um, our family that is able to be here today. Uh, is really special to have them. Um, the list of people that I have to thank personally who've influenced my life is, boy, it's, it's a long one. Because every time you associate with a group of people who are willing to share with you, coaches, players, universities, Obviously, your family, um, you're, you're a byproduct of the people who've touched you. And this is a very lucky person because of the kind of people that I've been fortunate enough to know. Um, Coach Holder mentioned my uh, previous boss at Vanderbilt. I am forever indebted to him, really for the friendship that he displayed to us and welcomed our family there, but really for helping me grow up and, and understand 
what coaching and building a program, creating an inclusive atmosphere where excellence in every phase of life is a lifestyle and a habit, uh, was really, really an education in and of itself. And uh, his recommendation and his support and his encouragement uh, and that experience at Vanderbilt is something I will forever be indebted to them for. Um, they were really warm to us and, and gave me the confidence and the opportunity to grow as a person and, and become uh, a person capable of leading. So uh, to go down the, the list and, and think of all the folks to thank, um, 227 text messages in a matter of two hours. Um, they're just amazing to see people who, who care about you enough and are excited for you. And I am uh, really blessed to have that type of support and, and really uh, to have friends that, that are excited for you. Oftentimes when something good happens to somebody, you find out how people really feel about you because sometimes they're, they're jealous and sometimes they're happy for you. And to hear people be genuinely that happy uh, is really special. So um, I'm thankful to everyone that's, that's touched my life and um, so many folks in this room that I've known since I was three, four years old. And uh, for you to come out means a lot. But um, I could talk for days, folks. But <laughs> if you guys would like to ask questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, well, John, I think being able to look at this program and understand what it was built on, what it stands for, and what it can be in the future is something that is going to be uh, the goal. Uh, I want to unite the people that love this program behind these kids that play in it, and I want the energy and passion of uh, support to provide uh, that type of atmosphere that great teams and great programs have. Um, I recognize who all these people are, and I recognize that their love for Cowboy baseball, um, their desire to see these boys have success, the elements of play and, and, and of behavior that they embrace uh, are critical to um, making sure those come out on a daily basis. And um, it's just a, it's a really unique opportunity to, to take advantage of those moments growing up and having watched who we were and who we are and who we can be and drawing on the experiences of, of Pete Incavillias and Robin Venturas and on through the years and talking to our players about what those guys did and how they did it and why they did it and what this can be moving ahead. Kevin Fowler sitting right here, Stan Bond. I mean, we have people in this room and people in this history that know how those things were created and trying to explain and, and uh, lead young people and, and, and push them to greatness is, is something our history can reveal to us. It's something that we can then look at and say, uh, fellas, it can happen. It's happened. It's happened here. And it can happen again. And so uh, our history is of amazing value to us. Well, the greatest lessons I've learned from my father were what it is to be a man. Uh, I was raised by two amazing parents. And um, to be raised by people that teach you to love and respect people, to be raised in a way that teaches you toughness, teaches you compassion, teaches you fairness, um, those are all elements that, that I will take uh, from my family, from my father, from my mother. Um, the elements of, of coaching and leading and being part of baseball are um, – as you said, John, I've spent the last nine years learning from a lot of great people, and, and I, I stand here today as my own person. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my family, uh, and I'm proud of my family's contributions to OSU over the years. But we, we all learn and take the good and, 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 and the moments that we, we experience everywhere we go, and we file them away. And some of them become who we are, and some of them become ideas that you sort through and, and choose not to use. So. I am very fortunate to, to have grown up in a home where uh, competition, um, compassion, energy uh, were encouraged every single day of my life. Um, took a lot of things from Bill DeFee in Stillwater High School. Took a lot of things from Gary Ward. Took a lot of things from uh, every person I ever called coach. And have continued to do that as a, as a young coach who's been across the country competing and what I consider championship situations and, and learning from those moments. So I like to think that uh, in many ways I've borrowed 
and adopted the best that everyone I've ever been around has had to offer. Josh, congratulations first. Thank you, Robert. Um, you've developed a reputation of being one of the top recruiters in college baseball. Vanderbilt's had tremendous classes. Everywhere you've been, you've been a, a good recruiter. Talk about how it will be special for you now, though, to recruit to a place you came to and a place you grew up in. How, how will that be different for you, maybe, from it's going to be very easy because when you believe in your heart what it is you're saying, it can come across in a way that I think is powerful. Um, I would tell a young man why to come to Oklahoma State the same reasons I came. Uh, an unbelievable collection of people, a great university. There's a sense of warmth and togetherness at Oklahoma State that when you walk across this campus, you're captured by instantly. How many places can you walk across a campus and people say hello to you and look you in the eye? How many times can you walk into a restaurant and people greet you uh, and, and talk to you and embrace the idea of the school and, and being an athlete and being a student and being part of a community? Um, we have great history. It's been done here. It can be done here. Players can come here and, and discover themselves and, and grow into something they never thought possible. Um, recruiting to Oklahoma State is going to be recruiting from the heart. It's going to be talking about my life experience as a student here, uh, what my education has done for me, giving me a chance to go out and have a career. Uh, I met my wife. I met my best friends. Um, Oklahoma State, to me, changed my life. And to talk about that with people is just very easy. And quite frankly, it's, it's, uh, it's something I can do with a tremendous amount of joy. And uh, so Oklahoma State is a special place. And the people you recruit have to see it for what it is. And they have to recognize the qualities that make it special and identify that those are the things they want to put themselves into on a daily basis. And I feel very good about uh, doing that and can't wait to get started. You said a minute ago that when you left, you wanted to come back. Talk about that, if you would, even though maybe you didn't leave it, the, you know, the ideal time. Why was that still something you wanted to do? Well, you can't change who you are, John. I was a cowboy. I was born here. Or I was born in Arizona, moved here when I was 10 months old. And all I ever knew my whole life was Oklahoma State. I knew Stillwater and I knew the program. And as I said, those players, those were my heroes. I learned to hit left-handed because Robin Ventura hit left-handed. I tried to imitate every single batting stance of every single player for 20 years, including when I played. <laughs> um, we don't ever change who we are. We, we are who we are. And, and to, to leave and, and to go out and grow and go across the country and go learn and see the Pac-10, the ACC, the SEC, and grow as a person on your own and raise your family, and become an independent thinker and a person who is motivated and, and fascinated by the art and lifestyle of coaching was what I wanted to do. And as anyone who's ever coached will tell you, if that's truly who you are and that's what you want to do, you just go attack it and you just go. And you go do it and you surround yourself with wonderful people who can teach you and share with you the things they've learned on their coaching journey. And in the back of my heart, I thought, you know what? Someday, if I go out and I, I better myself and I, I grow and learn and absorb baseball and leadership and team building and uh, do all the things that uh, a great coach has to do, maybe someday I could go back there and uh, live out another one of my goals. And um, you don't ever know if those things will happen for you. And you know, sometimes if things are meant to be, they're meant to be. And uh, I've always been very fortunate every place I've gone to be at great universities with great coaches and people who've welcomed Jenny and I and our, our family and said, come on in, we love you. Come be part of this. Let's work together and let's go win a championship. And so those moments and people along the way have made coaching for us a passion. It's made it something that if you're ever given the chance to lead, you say, wouldn't that be fun to try to create that same environment, that environment that for us is so difficult to leave because of how much we respect and admire the people who brought us in. And to come here and create your own family of people to where when kids leave, they say, I got to go because it's time, but boy, I'm sure going to miss you. And I appreciate everything you did for us. That's, I think as a young coach, the atmosphere and the drive you have. And the byproduct of that environment is, is going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of great days. It's going to be a lot of days where people maximize themselves and that process will lead us to where we want to go on the field. Any problem communicating? <laughs>
Well, Robert, I forgot to introduce my wife, so we'll, we'll see. Um, I love people, Robert. I love my teammates when I played. I love the kids since I've coached, and I love the coaches that you get a chance to coach alongside. And um, I'm really excited to say hello and reconnect with all the, the, the fans. Uh, the people of Oklahoma State are unique. They're special. Everyone here knows that. That's why we are who we are. It's why many of us chose to go to school here. It's why so many people choose to stay here and live and to reunite with those people and create an energy that will reach our players to when they walk on that field, they feel about three or four inches taller because that is the feeling that I had and that my teammates had and that, that Cowboys want to have when they, when they step on the diamond. So um, I can't wait to communicate and I can't wait to dive into a, a number of uh, intriguing and challenging moments that, that lie ahead and deal with them each day with every single person the best way we can. Well, I would tell you this about our facility. When I think Allie Reynolds Stadium, I think about standing behind the fence and catching Pete and Cavillia's home runs. I think about seeing it piled full of people and people lined up to the street corner to come watch a regional game. I think about senior day, 1999, run ruling Texas and hugging my teammates. My moments and thoughts on that facility are, are, are moments where they're celebratory. Um, we're going to take pride in our facility, and we're going to go out and play on it hard. And, and that old girl's going to look as good as she can because everyone there is going to love it, and it's our home. And we'll work to, to make our facility and our players something that we're proud of, and it won't be a point that we'll sit around and talk about. We'll look at that beautiful grass and that perfect dirt and that batter's box and those fences, and we're going to go out there, and, and at the end of the day, that's our field. And so um, we're going to work every day to make everything we have better. But I, I see that stadium, and I see a lot of the moments in time that it's had. And I want our players to know what those moments were. I want them to know that some of the greatest players you've ever played college baseball dug into that batter's box. If that doesn't lift your spirits when you put on that uniform and dig in, I don't know what would. So it's our field. We're going to take care of it. I'm going to love it. And we're going to do everything we can to make it uh, a sense of pride. Any other questions? Coach Holder and Coach Holly will be available up here. And there are some players in the back, current players. And Wade will help you guys if you want to do some interviews with them. Thanks, everybody, for coming on short notice. How you doing, Josh? Yeah, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Nice to see you, too. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. What's your name again? Hi, Anthony. How you doing? Nice How you doing? Good to, to see you again. How are you? Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Congratulations, bro. Hi, John. Thanks a lot. Great job. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Our okay, it might be hot here, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever you want.